G'day. Looking today at soundtrack, one of the greatest soundtracks ever written for a movie or TV series. This is for a Japanese animation, animated series, Berserk, uh, from 1997. The soundtrack composed by uh, Susumu Hirasawa. So, Berserk was started off as a Japanese comic, or I guess people call manga. I think it was like 1989. Um, and when a manga becomes particular pop, uh, particularly popular or sell, does well, sells a lot, they often choose to um, make a... Uh, Make a make an animated series of it on TV to kind of you know capitalize on the popularity, which is what they did for Berserk. So in 1997, they made a series. It's only a part of the the comic because the comic uh, is still running now. The guy, the main or the the creator and writer, forgive me, I don't know his name. Well, I do know his name, but I can't recall it. Um, died last year. 2022 and they're still continuing it after continuing it after his death so that's been going for a good what 30 34 years so they the animated series is only just a small part of the comic um but the really the 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 comic and the and the anime are not really important because this soundtrack is like i said amazing one of one of if not my favorite soundtracks ever up there with like blade runner or um or yeah the other kind of great soundtrack that you might uh feel needs to be mentioned um susumu hirasawa <clears throat> as far as i can tell is a as a, a composer using kind of keyboards and synthesizers, a lot of electronic music instruments um, you can see this is this is a Japanese language um, product. You know, it's most of the most of the the liner notes are in Japanese. The lyrics for some of them are in English because some of the songs are in English, and the titles are in English. Whoop! Caught you. Um, so the you can see there the uh, soundtrack. There's eleven songs. So the first eight are kind of, um, you hear them in the background. They're kind of the incidental music. Is incidental music the right word? The music in the background as the story is being told in the animated series. So Baylet, Ghosts, Ball. Ball was used for a ball scene, I remember. Where, like, you know, a dance. Uh, Gats. Now that's one you might have heard before. Track ball, Gats. They off, I often see it used in... Um, memes like video memes and i can't really explain how or why they use it but they do i hear it often in like jokes where they're trying to <clears throat> i don't know I'm, I'm sometimes i'm so terrible explaining this stuff <laughs> but if you if you listen to that song you might think oh i've heard that before my favorite songs are I think it's Murder, yeah, Murder, which is about nine minutes long, and Earth, track eight. Track eight is probably my favorite out of all of them. Nine, ten, and eleven have got um, vocals on them. Ten and eleven, ten, tell me why, was the animated show introduction, and eleven was the outro, the end of the show. And they're Jap it's like a Japanese pop rock band. Uh, the pen pals doing the intro and the silver fins doing the outro and then track nine berserk forces that's uh susumu hirasawa himself and that's used throughout the series it's also used in the trailer that was the first time i heard it i remember so the, the reason i watched this is that to be honest i haven't watched many anime uh, japanese animes in my life most of them i find to be nigh on unwatchable I um, lived in Japan for a couple of years in the 2000s. I lived and worked there. And before I went to Japan, I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, uh, try to learn a little bit about the popular culture and um, at least kind of watch some movies or something that, that might kind of give me some insight into 
Japan. <laughs> you know, it's kind of silly when you think about it. But anyway, one of the ideas was I watched some anime. I remember I watched Akira, the movie, a very famous Japanese animated movie. And this, Berserk. I tried to watch a few other things as well. But like I said, some of them are just unwatchable. The it's like kind of a and this is obviously just me because lots of people absolutely love anime lots of westerners love it it's like you know grown and grown in popularity over the years back then it wasn't actually as popular i guess you know things like dragon ball z and um and uh pokemon's not anime but uh, you know it kind of become mainstream but i some of the japanese animated series the the Japanese mode of storytelling I find to be quite different from the traditional Western mode of storytelling, narrative. I'm not saying it's wrong or right or better or worse. It's just what I, I guess what I'm used to and what I enjoy. And some of those animated series, it's an anime, it's just some of the, the story arcs and narratives and, and the, the plot twists they choose, you just think, oh. It's not like, oh, this is surprising. It was just like, what? It may, oh my, yeah. I can't, again, can't explain it. I've watched a few others. I watched, I've watched uh, Bleach. And I, like a lot of them, I'd get the DVD series out from the, back in the days when you would rent DVDs from rental shops. And I'd watch the first episode of something. And I just think, I, I can't watch this. This is, <laughs> this is fucking rubbish. But um, Berserk wasn't like that. Berserk was... As well as having an excellent soundtrack, it was, I think, one of the best animated uh, Japanese animated series I've ever watched as well. It was one that I, it was, um, like, I, you always, I always want to know, watch the next episode. It was, like, really, like, you know, binge, binge-worthy. When I listen to this music, it really reminds me of that time of just before I went to Japan and in my first few months of living in Japan. I remember I bought an iPod. This is when iPods first came out. And I, I loaded the CD onto the iPod. So when I listen to some of those songs, especially Song 8, Earth, and Song 1, Bail It, it's like an in, infusion of mainline nostalgia can, into my nervous system. You know, sometimes it's sometimes with music with me, and I'm sure other people too, as well, it's, it's almost overwhelming when a song or music connects too closely to past events whether it's in a good way or a bad way. You know, I, I really loved living in Japan. In some ways, it's kind of the, the, the best years of my life. Not that I haven't had a good year since that, but it was just I was at, I had, at a, a perfect age for it. And um, the people I worked with were all a similar age to me. And it was just, the, the, I think if I had done it when I was older, like, you know, even 10 years or five years after that, I wouldn't have enjoyed it much. Or when I was younger, same, I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. It was just, I was at the perfect point. I'd, it was just such a positive experience. Even though some bad things happened, particularly with my job, it was, I look back on it with such fondness. And I've, I've traveled back to Japan lots of times since then, because I, I lived in Korea as well for, for a while, and it was very cheap to travel between Korea and Japan. And, um, so yeah, I guess this this maybe maybe I'm overemphasizing the greatness of this soundtrack, whereas it just might be my personal attachment to it. But I do feel it's a great. It's very well composed. It fits the action of the story very well. The songs can stand by themselves as well. They're very atmospheric. Five, six, and seven: murder, fear, and monster really you kind of build up this uh sinister evil feeling which is present throughout the um throughout the series eight produces this earth produces this feeling of like freedom and nature and wonder and i get like kind of goosebumps talking about it now i love that song so much and i i don't know as i listen to this all the time i i just was listening to this just before I started recording and I was thinking I probably haven't listened to it for like a year or something. And as soon as I listened to it, it was like chills. <laughs> Sometimes to the extent that you think, oh, I'm not going to listen to that. It's too, you're too overwhelming. 
Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. Maybe that's not normal. But I, I get that with other music as well. There's certain certain things that have linked to certain memories, and I just if I'm in a certain mood, I can't listen to it because it will just I don't know. It sets off all these thoughts and ideas, and it's too overwhelming. Um, I've seen on YouTube the composer Susumu Hirasawa does a live version of some of these songs. He does a live version of uh, Forces where he uses this weird synthesizer contraption with lasers and he kind of triggers the samples by putting his hand down over the laser beam and it triggers the sound. So I recommend checking that out. I recommend listening to this. And I'd be interested to know how people feel about this because, like I said, Berserk is pretty... Is pretty um, highly regarded in in the anime community i don't know if you would say and i think just as much by people like uh, dilettantes like me who have just you know watched one or two things and or read one or two things it's kind of a uh, universally praised and they did make a new series in 2016 i don't know which part of the manga it covers i haven't watched it and kind of the reason I haven't watched is, be watched is because this it was I think this series and the music and everything connected was so perfect that I don't want to have it ruined by something that's not so good. And I might be completely wrong. It might be a, another classic. I don't know. But um, yeah. So that's my thoughts on the uh, Berserk original soundtrack made for the animated Japanese anime by composed by Susumu Hirasawa and two other songs by the pen pals and silver or silverfins and silverfins I give this I think I talked another another video about ratings I would give this a 10 out of 10 in my uh, in my collection this thing gets 10 out of 10 and I highly highly recommend it an excellent excellent soundtrack one of my favorite CDs that I own. And the reason why I put this in the secondhand CD reviews is because I didn't actually own this. My friend owned it. She purchased it. She lived in Japan as well, actually. She's not Japanese. She's from New Zealand. But anyway, I knew she had it. And I uh, messaged her one day. I said, hey, do you still have that Berserk uh, soundtrack? I'll buy it off you. And she was like, I've, I've got it. I think I'll find, I can find it. You, I, you don't want to have to buy it. I can send it to you. I went, no, no, you know, I can buy it. I'm willing to pay, you know, whatever you want for it, basically. And she, um, she's like, no, no, don't worry. And she ended up sending it to me. So um, it's secondhand, but I didn't pay for it. And I don't know how much it would cost to buy it now. It's probably not that easy to find. Probably could find it online, though. Anyway, going too long here. Thank you for watching Berserk.